Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Man. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already 10 after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? 
Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. Advanced idea mechanics? Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy.
Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. Amos requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny that my genius? Ha! <laughs> Kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. The offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. interesting chip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them 
that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Need to get this guy out of my way. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. Boss sees that, he'll be pissed. Yo, Rex! Boss wants to talk to you. Get in here! Need to get into that office. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? You tried any yet? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Am I hearing things?
This place is creeping me out. Hey, I heard something. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Damn, don't be paranoid. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? What is this? Some kind of military hardware? There's the office. A lot of men in the way, though. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. What's in these? Fuck! Come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Cause it won't be there! God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. Where's that wrench? Come on now. Made it. Blueprints. 
An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... Whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just, the couch is fine. <laughs> uh, see you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got to be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Started, folks. I'm getting word of a serious increase in the drug trade in our fair city. And it's not the demons or Wilson Fisk's former people. Criminals across the board are getting bolder. Just as I predicted, the rats are crawling out of their holes, sensing weakness and opportunity. No one listened to me before. I pray they'll listen to me now. Be careful out there. Police look like they could use some help.
capture these things. There's probably more. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I sworn I parked on this level. You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking and forcing. Good fight. A for effort. Elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. If I get closer, I can take him out. Stay here, my Woody. Nice 
Nice and easy. Tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out.
Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Almost got him! Try to fall slower! You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney.
message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. <laughs>